Hey guys, how's it going? It's Andre Sospino with the AO Solution coming at you today on top of a tree, uh, just uh, about to warm up before my workout. Uh, here with my cat Zen, who follows me around uh, around the park and works out with me. Hey buddy, he's kind of sleepy. He's about to fall asleep on the street. Hey buddy, say hi to the camera. Ah, uh, there he goes. He just follows me around. He's a great workout buddy. But um, <clears throat> I want to share with you guys today a story about procrastination. Procrastination is a topic that doesn't go spoken of a lot and creates a lot of guilt within our lives, uh, creates a lot of fatigue, creates a lot of anxiety, creates a lot of feelings that don't serve us, right? Uh, it's not a feeling of accomplishment when we, when we procrastinate. And last week, I came back home from playing soccer for two hours, beat up, tired, just water, showered, and just hopped into bed and pulled up Netflix and wanted to watch a documentary. And I came across the show Lost. And I remember back in high school, my friends were hooked on the show. They tell me I had to watch it, I had to watch it. Uh, and I never did, you know. Um, and especially nowadays, I mean, when you can watch a series, you know, just straight through, it's a lot easier to get hooked onto shows. But, um, and, I, I, and I'm a huge Breaking Bad fan, huge. I mean, to me, Breaking Bad is a work of art, the best TV show that ever came out, right? But, um, but I locked myself in my room for like over 200 hours just to finish the whole entire series. And I left there just thinking, wow, I could have spent those 200 hours doing a lot more beneficial things for myself and for my business and, uh, and for my team. For, and I could have just been doing a lot more productive work and generating income and income generating uh, income generating activities. So I start watching Lost. I said I was only going to watch one episode, turns into two, turns into three, turns into four, turns into one more, into one more. And I realized I'm hooked. I'm nervous. I'm thinking I got to wake up in the morning and I got a lot of work to do. And I really hope that, you know, it doesn't take a hold of me and I just want to watch the show. And next thing you know, I haven't done anything all day because I've been watching the show. I'm just trying to get through it as fast as I can so I can move on with my life. So what do I do? I get creative with the solution. I don't just try to force myself into not watching it. Close the iPad and force yourself. See, because that, that's resistance. And you don't want to create that type of resistance because then it's, it's resistance, right? When you have a, a band that's constantly resisting, the resistance doesn't go away until you nip it, right? It's just going to constantly be in that force, and that resistant force. So what you want, so what I did is that I looked up lost in a nutshell on Google. I Googled, uh, I Googled just a synopsis on the whole entire series and I watched the last 40 minutes of their hour and a half finale. Uh, and I understood the whole concept. I, I understood the whole show in, in less than an hour and I was able to move on with my life. See, it's because I had this ability to get distracted, this distractibility, but I also had a responsibility. I had a choice to find the solution. I had the ability to respond and create a scenario that would create a feeling of accomplishment because I found the solution to really being able to, um, to not get distracted with something that was hold that I feel could could have really helped me back and I think really holds back a lot of people uh, within entrepreneurship, network marketing, and, and just life, just life in general. You know, television I was taught is the electronic income reducer and there's nothing wrong with it once in a while, but once again, it's about balance and it's about really creating that balance. 230 hours straight through of a show is not balance. Um, so I wanna share that with you guys today I, because it's just another creative solution uh, and it's another form of awareness. I was aware of the cause that created my procrastination. I was aware of the cause that created the effect, right? Which was my curiosity, which was my um, just my, my love for, for, for art, right? Because I think TV shows are art. I love acting, right? And, and I think it's really cool and I love stories, right? But I understood that it's the show's not going to serve me the show's not going to pay uh for my trip to colombia this week right my show's not going to pay for my trip to peru at the end of the year my trip's not going to pay for my uh uh for my gratitude seminars that i'll be doing in march right so i needed to nip it in the butt so 
that's just one way to nip procrastination in the butt. Uh, if you guys have any questions about it, you know, and, and you think you have a friend or a downline or anyone that, you know, needs to stop with the excuses and, and just get off the, the Netflix and the YouTube, share this video with them. Hey, why not? <laughs> and maybe it helped you. Uh, but, uh, but at the end of the day, guys, it's about that self-awareness, letting go of the ego, not thinking you're too good to just uh, be aware of your tendencies um, and really being able to find the solution so you can offer that solution to others as well. So other than that, guys, have a good day. Peace and love. I'm going to get back to my workout with my cat, uh, and I'm going to let Zen say bye for you guys. Hey, Zen. Guys, bye.